Hello and welcome back to my channel Hiddles World. Today we are going to talk about New Zealand. Yes, it's so much more requested topic. But more than that, actually, I came across this topic because of my own personal interest. So did you know that New Zealand is actually facing labor shortage and there are about 80,000 workers that are needed right now in New Zealand. And when I talk about workers, I'm not talking about like construction workers or somebody to work in a restaurant. I'm actually talking about a level a skills related job and the age group that they are looking for is 18 to 55 so then really while doing some research i came across this awesome website and i was like you know what i have to make a video on this so i have spent whole two days to figure out how to use this website what all things are there and also it's a new zealand government released website so well without further ado let's begin today's topic and today's video <music> Hi everyone, if you're landing on this page for the first time, then I'm Hiral Sejpal. I make videos about working abroad, studying abroad, and I live in Canada, so you'll be also finding some of the Canada vlogs on this channel. In order to process this video today, what I'm going to do is I will be dividing this topic into three main sections. The first section will be about labor shortage and what is going on in terms of in-demand jobs and what is it exactly that New Zealand is facing right now. Number two that we'll be talking about is websites by government of New Zealand to hire professionals. Now these websites are something that I have come across personally and I really loved looking at it and you know to be honest I have applied for a few jobs there as well. Uh, well, not that I'm looking for jobs actively, but I was like, mm. New Zealand has amazing landscape and it has been on my bucket list for a long time. If you're following me for a long time and if, and if you have come across this video where I have explained about how I got three scholarships and what were the, the strategies that I used to land a scholarship, you would have known that I have been considering New Zealand ever since I was 18 years old. So when I was planning to move to different countries, New Zealand was actually on top of my list. Even before Canada, there was Australia, New Zealand, and then Canada. And why did I come to Canada? Well, because I landed three fully funded scholarships and New Zealand wasn't able to support me that much in terms of financially. And that's why I had to take this decision of coming here. Anyway, enough talking about me. Let's talk about our first topic, which is labor shortage and in-demand jobs. So let's talk about what is happening right now in New Zealand. Uh, while scrolling through the internet, I came across two or three news articles where it was like talking about how the current prime minister of New Zealand has actually announced that they are undergoing a labor shortage. And in order to fill the economical gap that they have experienced after COVID, which many of the countries have experienced, they really critically need to fill this gap by getting foreign workers to come in and work in New Zealand. So in order to bridge this gap, the government of New Zealand has actually launched a website. Kudos to New Zealand government that I have never seen this kind of amazingly laid out website. Now we will be talking about that website and also another website that I came across in my research. Okay, so talking about this website, it, how look at how beautiful this website is. It says escape to Wellington or like escape to New Zealand and uh, like on this website, you will be, of course, coming across a lot of resources and testimonials from people who have actually migrated to New Zealand on the basis of this job website. Um, and this is these are the opportunities that are really in Wellington. So like Wellington is more uh, of a city, like it's actually one of the biggest cities in New Zealand. Uh, if you were to compare it from, let's say, your home country or from like Canada, I'd say like it's, it is more so like a Toronto or maybe Mumbai or Delhi. Uh, so you would go on seek job listings. And once you go up here, you will notice that as of today, right now there are 2,433 jobs that are available. I'd say like, I'd say these jobs are really available for all types of work and uh, different occupations. So I would recommend that you go through here. But if you are applying for jobs is that, that requires sponsorship, then I would say that perhaps go here and try to look for sponsorship positions. And you will see that like around 47 jobs as of today are coming out. And you will also notice one more thing that it says, 
the salary range for most of these jobs. So, uh, you know, it's really a very comprehensive and very nicely laid out website. Um, also, the like as per look wise, I'd say it's really good as well. So uh, seek.co.nz, like that is New Zealand. Uh, seek websites are very popular in Europe and in Australia and New Zealand. So do go check this one out. Now moving on to the second topic, which is New Zealand government related job seekers website. Now this was one of the sponsored like posts that I came across and of course like you know I, I did look at it. Um, I would say that the success rate here I'm not sure how much it would be but there is this another website which is released by the uh, government of New Zealand. Uh, on this website you will notice that there are so many things like especially CV Builder, Career Quest, uh, Skill Matcher program. There's just a lot more that you can actually go through um, and it literally took me like two days to actually explore all of it. Uh, but I want to show you there are two things. First is we will just go on to job hunting and uh, under job hunting you will see like you know a variety of resources. But what I am trying to get you at is what's happening in the job market right now. Now, this is a reliable government related source where you can find out everything about the job market. That is, you know, what is happening with the labor shortage, like, you know, what kind of skills are required in the labor shortage. So let's go on to this job, uh, jobs in skill shortage and labor shortage. Um, uh, section and if you were to look like it says right now that there are 400 jobs or 400 plus jobs as of yesterday there were like 472 um, it also has a jobs database um, it also has something called as the green list occupations now new zealand has something called as green list occupations so these are the occupations that government has identified that are in demand and these are directly available for like PR pathways or you can even apply on work permit and, and come there. Uh, so let's just get back to the website and I'll show you where to exactly find that information. Uh, this is the latest green list that you have about like, you know, highly paid demand, in-demand jobs. Something that you can also do is scroll all the way down to this page and you will notice that notice that like there are a variety of uh, fields under which like which which do qualify under green list. Um, if you were to click on it, uh, you will notice that, you know, right now they are looking for project managers and purchasing and supply officers um, if you were to like just like that let's say education and social sciences right um, you, they are currently looking for primary school teachers early childhood I would say sky is the limit here uh, so do go and like check it out and now if you know me it's time for my tip my personal tip if you were to go on this website in a bit I will show you how to find that but if you were to go on this website and let's say if you are in tier green list tier level one then you are eligible to directly move and apply for PR in New Zealand and the applications are right now open the second thing if suppose you are not in tier one then don't get disheartened because if you are even in tier two level then there are ways in which you can get work permit for up to three years and then which can be converted into PR if you are not aware then New Zealand has very similar PR process to Canada now let me show you in terms of how you can check that out okay so on this website if you were to go this section like overview of skilled residence pathway and under this section, if you were to scroll down, you will notice New Zealand government PR website. So straight to resident visa, as I told you, straight PR pathway is still open. Uh, work to residence visa is still open. Uh, and then of course, other pathways as well. So let's suppose if you were to apply under um, uh, straight to resident visa, right? You will notice that it's for tier one of green list. Same goes for work to residence visa. It's for tier two people, like it's for tier two green list for 24 months. So let's suppose if I am more so looking under this age range, then you will see that 55 or younger is the age range that they're looking for. And under here, of course, you know, you can go ahead and, and look at different things. You can also go and find variety of jobs up here. Too. If you were to go here under uh, job profiles, uh, you can find variety of jobs. Something that you can also do is get in touch with the recruiters, right? And like there are some of uh, some of the approved recruiters which who can help you with finding jobs 
um, in New Zealand. And now these recruiters are has to be approved, right? So please just do not go and find anybody and everybody on Google and then like, you know, end up paying it. So please do your own research. I hope that this information was really useful for you. Please do comment down below in terms of how you liked my effort of bringing this information forward to you and would you like more such videos. I will see you next time. Until then, bye.